Greetings guys, and welcome to another tutorial. Today we will be looking at GUI settings in the Scenes menu. Let's start right away and go to the Scenes menu with the zero key. The recording ID is the name of your recording. It is also stored in your World folder. Note that the IDs are global, so if you give a recording the same ID, it will overwrite it with the same recording. If you give your recording a name tag, it will be displayed above its head when render name tags are activated in the dashboard. It can also be used for commands and selectors. Health determines how many lives your actor has. The default value is 20, which equals 10 hearts. If you check the box next to Invincible, you don't have to worry about the health of your actor because he is, as the name implies, invincible. Creative player damage excluded. Creative player damage means that a player in creative mode hits an actor. If you want to make your actor invisible, check the box below. This could be useful for pressing levers or buttons or otherwise interacting with the world. The Allow Birding button specifies whether fire is rendered or not. The actor gets damaged anyway. If enabled is off, just like in the model block, the actor is disabled. Fake Player button allows to work around certain actions that don't work correctly with other mods, like connecting more player models with actors. If you leave the checkbox next to the teleport back checked, you will be teleported back to the place where you started after you finished recording. The bottom box controls whether the actor should be rendered last or not. For example, if you have an actor behind a transparent or semi-transparent actor, the actor becomes invisible. If render last is enabled, the actor behind it is rendered first, then the semi-transparent actor, so the actor remains visible. So always turn on render last when the actor is semi-transparent. Thank you. Let's go through the right side. The update data button allows you to copy the player data. It refers to the fake player option. In the rename prefix button, you can rename all the recording IDs in the scene. This is useful when copying scenes. We will deal with the two edit buttons below in upcoming videos. If you press the teleport button, or T, you will be teleported to the start position of your selected actor. At the last point of the video, we will explain the general options at the top of the gear icon. In the display title field, you can write a note about the scene. If you want a command to be activated when you start the scene, write it in the second field. In the lower field, you can write a command that will be activated at the end of the scene. As an example, let's switch to night at the beginning and back to day at the end of the recording. If you activate the checkbox to the right of loops, all recordings will be played back from the beginning after the end of the recording. Finally, there is the audio track option, where you can attach audio files like .wav files, which will be played while the scene is running. And that's it, we're done. We wish you a lot of fun making creative videos with the Blockbuster mods. See you next time.